Dear student, as you know that the chapter chemical equations are in detail. So today we will discuss some problems related chemical equation. Here some problem problems are written. First we will discuss. What type of what type of chemical reaction chemical reaction are represented by the following equation? The first question is NH4NO2. Yes, friend. Here NH4NO2. Sodium nitrite or uh, ammonium nitrite. Ammonium nitrite convert into nitrogen gas and water. Dear student, as you know that here single compound break into simplest molecule. Simplest molecule. You know that a reaction in which a compound break into simplest molecule is known as decomposition reaction. So. This reaction is decomposition reaction. Decomposition reaction. Decomposition reaction. If this reaction occurs in presence of electricity, then it is known as electric decomposition. If this reaction occurs in presence of heat, then it is known as thermal decomposition. Okay. Now discuss next question here AgNO3 sodium uh, uh, silver nitrate and sodium chloride NaCl react with each other and convert into sodium silver nitrate convert into silver chloride and sodium chloride convert into sodium nitrate here you observe Silver have positive and nitrate have negative charge. Sodium have positive and chlorine have negative charge. Here the ions of sodium exchange with silver and ion of silver and ion of silver exchange with sodium. Here the exchange of ions between two compound and you know that exchange of ion is known as displacement. But if exchange of ions from single compound then known as single displacement but here the exchange of ions between two compounds so it known as double displacement reaction this reaction is double displacement reaction ok student this reaction is double displacement reaction now the second question is Balance the following equation. Here are some equations given and balance it. Dear student, first you observe the equation. Here given calcium hydroxide plus HCl that is hydrochloric acid and it convert produce calcium chloride and water. In this equation here number of calcium atom 1. At the right side one that means calcium already balanced. Dear student, here number of chlorine two. One here two chlorines. That means chlorine are not balanced. Here number of oxygen two. Here number of oxygen one. That means oxygen also not balanced. Number of hydrogen one two one three. Here two hydrogen also not balanced. For the balancing, firstly, for the balancing of chlorine, for the balancing of chlorine, here two chlorine are present. So, for the balancing of two chlorines, we write two before the acid. Now, number of chlorine, two chlorine here and also two chlorine. Chlorine are balanced in this equation. Dear student, now balance the hydrogen. For the balancing the hydrogen, here two hydrogen 
and here two hydrogen, four hydrogen. So multiply two before type two before the H two O. Now four hydrogen and here four hydrogen. Hydrogen also balance. Now balance oxygen. Balance oxygen. Here two oxygen. Here two oxygen. That means oxygen already balanced. Again compare the number of atom in left side and right side. Number of calcium one calcium. Here one calcium. Here number of oxygen two. Here number of oxygen two. Here number of hydrogen two to four. Here also four. Number of chlorine two. Number of chlorine two. That means this equation is a balanced equation. Now discuss another equation. Dear student, here written NaOH sodium hydroxide and H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid react with each other and form sodium sulfate and water. After the observation, you understand in this equation number of sodium atom here two atom, where is number of sodium here one. Number of oxygen here one four one five here four one five. That means oxygen atom are balanced. But number of hydrogen two here and one here three. But here two. That means oxygen are not, uh, hydrogen are not balanced and sodium also not balanced. Dear student, for the balancing sodium. Write two before the in NaOH. Then number of sodium became two. Here also two. So the sodium are balanced in the, this equation. Now balance sulfide ion here. Sulfide ion SO4 ions one sulfide ion here also one. That means sulfide ion already balanced in this equation. Now balance. Now balance hydrogen atom here. One two hydrogens and two hydrogen here two two four hydrogen here two hydrogen so put two before the H two O then number of hydrogen four and here also four now balance oxygen atom here two oxygen atom and here also two oxygen atom that means oxygen also balance again count the numbers of atom present left hand side and right hand side. Here two sodium, here also two sodium. Here two oxygen, here also two oxygen. Here two to four hydrogen, here also four hydrogen. That means hydrogen balance. Here one sulfide ion, here also one sulfide ion. That means finally this equation are balanced equation. Now balance another equation here sodium chloride and HCl react with the Sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 and produce Na2SO4 sodium sulfate and hydrochloric acid. Destroyed in this equation, firstly we are observed sodium number of sodium here two but here one. So first put the two before the NaCl and balance the sodium. When you put the two before the NaCl, the sodium became two and here also two. Number of sodium atom are balanced both sides. This will now balance sulfide ion here one sulfide ion here also one sulfide ion. That means sulfide are balanced. This will be here two chlorine ion, but here single chlorine ion. So write the two before the HCl and chlorine became two chlorine atoms. Finally balance the hydrogen here two hydrogen here also two. I think this equation are balanced, but again check all atoms left and right side. Number of sodium two sodium here two sodium. Number of chlorine two. Number of chlorine two. Number of hydrogen two. Number of hydrogen two. Number of sulfide ion one. Number of sulfide ion one. Here number of atoms on left and number of atoms on right are equal. That means this equation are balanced equation. Now discuss another equation. Here, copper react with the sulfuric acid 
and produce copper sulfate, water and sulfur dioxide. Dear student, in this equation, number of copper atoms present here equal to number of copper atom present that side. That means copper already balanced in this equation. Now, number of sulfate ion here one sulfate ion here also one sulfate ion. But number of sulfur number of sulfur here one two sulfur but here single sulfur. So first we write two before the H2SO4 for the balancing sulfur atom. Now we can number of sulfur atom two and here one two sulfur atom. When you multiply 2 in H2SO4, then number of oxygen became 4 to the 8, 8 oxygen, where is 4 oxygen, 1, 5 oxygen and here 2 oxygen, 4, 1, 5 to 7, here 1 oxygen less than left and number of hydrogen, 2 to the 4 hydrogen, but here number of hydrogen only 2. So, first balance number of hydrogen by multiplying 2 in S2. Now balance hydrogen is 2 to 4, 2 to the 4, here 2 to the 4. I think oxygen also balance because 2 4 are 8, here 4 to 6 to 8. I think this equation are balanced but compare number of atoms on both sides. Copper, one copper, here one copper, four hydrogen, four hydrogen, number of sulfur two, here one, two sulfur, number of oxygen eight, four to six to eight. Here number of atoms on left side and number of atoms on right side are balanced, that means this equation are balanced equation. Okay, student. Now solve another question. The question is Give the balance chemical equation. Give the balance chemical equation given below. Okay, student. Here a word equation are given. So firstly write the symbol of the chemicals. Okay, student. The calcium oxide. The symbol of calcium oxide is CaO. Is the symbol of calcium oxide. Here written water. The symbol of water is H2O. Arrow. And here calcium hydroxide, the formula of calcium hydroxide CaOH twice. Now we are written here formula of calcium oxide, formula of water and formula of calcium hydroxide. Compare the number of atoms present both sides. Here number of calcium 1. Here also one. Number of hydrogen here two hydrogen here also two. Number of oxygen here two here also two. Yes, student. Number of atom on left and number of atom in right already balanced. That means this equation is already balanced equation. Okay. Now this is the second question. Here written iron. 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 Symbol of iron. Fe. Fe is a symbol of iron. Desturant it react with chlorine. Desturant when in any questions say chlorine. Chlorine not retain as of Cl. Chlorine retain as of Cl2. Because in nature chlorine obtain as Cl2. Okay. So written always Cl2 not Cl. Okay. Now formed ferric chloride here two name of chloride iron chloride that is ferrous and ferric chloride if here written ferric then you write FeCl3 but if here written ferrous ferrous chloride then you write the formula FeCl2 the formula of ferrous chloride is FeCl2 but the formula of ferric chloride is FeCl3. Are you understand? Okay. 
Dear student, now compare the number of atoms present both sides. Here number of ions one. Here number of iron one. That means iron already balanced in this equation. But number of chlorine here two, but here three. For the balancing number of chlorine atom, you write here three before the chlorine and two before the perchloride. Now number of chlorine here two three is a six and number of chlorine here two three is a six. Chlorine balance and but number of ions here two but here one. It unbalanced. So write two before the iron. Now compare again number of iron two here number of iron two here three two three is a six chlorine here two three is a six chlorine. That means number of chlorine balance here. In this equation, number of atom on left and right are balanced. That means this is a balanced equation. Now discuss here a question. Here written calcium hydroxide. You know that the formula of calcium hydroxide is COH twice plus carbon dioxide. The formula of carbon dioxide is CO two and obtained calcium carbonate. The formula of calcium carbonate is CaCO three and water. The formula of water is H two O. Dear student, here written symbolic formula of calcium hydroxide and carbon dioxide of uh, produce calcium carbonate and water. Now calculate uh, numbers. Uh, compare the number of atom present in left and right side. Here number of calcium one. Here also calcium one. That means calcium already balanced in both sides. Now discuss. Number of oxygen two here two two four number of oxygen four here three one four oxygen also balanced in this equation. Now calculate number of hydrogen two hydrogen here number of hydrogen two here that means hydrogen also balanced in this equation. Number of carbon one here number of carbon one here. I think all atoms are balanced both side but compare again. Number of calcium one, number of oxygen two two four three one four, number of hydrogen two, number of carbon one. The number of atom on left and number of atom on right are balanced. That means this equation are balanced. Dear student, you solve more and more questions given in NCERT example exemplar and NCERT textbook. And write down in your notebook. As it is, I solve here. If you have any problem, you discuss in offline class. Thank you very much.